For almost two decades, this country has enjoyed the success of the Murray brothers. Grand Slam titles, Olympic golds and Davis Cup wins. What they wanted in return, and before it was all over, was a lasting legacy for tennis in Scotland. But today there's huge frustration that those in charge have failed to keep their side of the bargain. I predicted quite some time ago that Jamie and Andy would retire and there would be nothing to show for it. And I really feel that now. We'll never get this chance again. We've had the most incredible shop window um, for tennis and largely I'd say we've wasted it. Worrying words from someone who should know, and this is in part what she's talking about, outdoor public courts that have essentially been left to rot. In fact, almost half of public outdoor courts in this country are dilapidated, but the failure doesn't end there. In 2016, Tennis Scotland, Sports Scotland and the LTA said they would double the amount of indoor tennis courts in Scotland over a 10 year period. Nearly six years on, work hasn't started on any. This is the man tasked with making it happen. So what's going on? The doubling of indoor courts is, is basically an ambition and a long term target. So, so it's not you know, five to 10 years then? So, well, I mean, I mean the, the, the teaser is, you know, the initial 10, which will take time obviously to build. So it won't, be, it won't happen in the 10 years, five to 10 year time well, that you announced, is that right? I mean, I, I, it, it could be possible, but, you know, it's a, it's a long term ambition. A long term ambition is not how it was described in 2016. Can't surely be good enough that no ground has been broken on any new indoor course in that time. That's simply not good enough, surely. Well, we'd like to we'd like to have been in a different place. Um, I'm not using COVID as an excuse; it's a reality. But we will work as hard as we can to take this project to fruition. There will be four tennis courts all the way along here. Right. Uh, back and Clubs the, are uh, still uh, hopeful. Here in Rutherglen, they've got the plans. But so far, no money from Tennis Scotland. Uh, has there been any time during the process you thought, this isn't worth it? Yeah, lo loads, yeah. I think we are very lucky that we've got a team of volunteers that really want to make this happen. Yeah. But I can definitely see why people you know, shrug their shoulders and say, you know, that's, that's too tough. Tennis Scotland point to a rise in club participation numbers as evidence that the game here is growing. But probably most of them will have had a growth in participation, I suppose partly because of what the boys have done and partly more recently because of COVID. But there's far too many pockets of the country where there just are no courts and places to play and that frustrates me. A nation asks why and what now? Can a legacy be salvaged before the Murray's achievements become no more than a memory? Chris McLaughlin, BBC News.